So I want to invite you to set your intention, take a deep breath, shake it out. We're going to start in the key of one sharp. It's a C major with a sharp 11. G major scale. Sometimes I like to just play the scale up and down at whatever tempo you can do it. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, when F is sharp. You can do that, of course, in any position. Second position, third. Fourth position. The extended range across one position of a key signature. In this case, a, B, C, D, E, F, G, when F is sharp. Just accessing it across the full range of that position, whatever position it is. You can always write it out for yourself if that's useful. Or you can just write out a key signature, the key signature itself, which would literally look like a staff plus sharp sign on F. That's all you would need. Yo, what is your intention? As you play, you can, you can think about that. I am, finish that sentence. I am centered, balanced, peaceful, focused, Relaxed, beautiful, intelligent, soulful, original, creative. <coughs> We're going to play long notes too. As we play, you can notice, notice your breath. Notice your neck, your shoulders, your body scan across the different parts of your body notice any tension come back to your breath bring your attention to your sound aspects of your sound your tone articulation intonation vibrato Same key. One sharp. We were playing over a C in the bass, which made it C Lydian. Now we're playing over A in the bass, which makes it A Dorian. You don't need to know what that means. So 
so you can give yourself parameters to improvise. It could be a rhythmic parameter. You know, recurring, recurring eighth notes. Recurring eighth notes, recurring quarter notes, with or without rests. Recurring notes with rests. It could be a combination of types of rhythms. So maybe like eighth notes and half notes. Quarter notes and eighth notes. Or you could pick a melodic rhythm. For example, a bodu body. of ways you can focus on your technique if you're working on shifting you could be playing on one string smooth bow connection, and just working on controlling the bow, distributing the bow, you know, how long, how long can you draw the bow playing with phrase, you know, for example. You know, practicing long bows. Think about articulations, you could play like short articulations, long articulations. There's like the four buckets that I have for, for choosing parameters to structure your improvisation. So the first one is emotions, the second one is techniques, the third one is musical elements, the fourth one is other. So emotions is easy. It's like, okay, I'm gonna play something sad or happy or confused. Techniques, we've got right hand and left hand. So what are right hand techniques? It could have to do with long bows, crossing strings, bouncing bows. Left hand techniques could have to do with shifting, vibrato, double stops. 
Maybe I play only double stops. Maybe I play only thirds, only sixths, or random double stops. Maybe I play crossing strings. Maybe it's a more strict, specific pattern of crossing strings. You know, maybe it's... Or maybe it's... You can always work on patterns out of the scale. For me, I'm starting on A. Starting on the note A. You can play my idea or something else.
Okay, now play something different after me. longer ideas. the fourth of every four. Four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, up. Hey, hey, Carolyn, hey, Bill, hey, Colin, hey, David, hey, Dorian, hey, Gemma, hey, hey, Janet, hey, John, hey, Juliana, hey, Luke, hey, Paula, hey, Philip, hey, Rob, hey, Sandy, hey, Tanya, Hey, Yuka. What if you do every uppo? Up, 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 up. Now, can you play that feel without moving the bow? rhythm so you put any notes but now we're moving the bow <laughs> 